What the heck is this on my plant? That I just saw out of nowhere. There's another one over there. I'm about done with this plant because as you can tell, I can't really keep things alive. And the leaves will die off and I'll have to pick them and throw them out. Or they'll get really burnt, I'm thinking, from the sun exposure. Maybe I should research this plant and figure out how to take care of it. And someone just tell me, like, is this normal? I don't know. But I am over it. I can't keep anything alive unless it's a snake plant. But it probably could use some water right now. That could be my issue is I never water the thing. showered I'm gonna make a quick little smoothie because I'm hungry guys and I don't really have time to cook a full meal right now like I just want to eat so I'm gonna throw this together add some spinach banana mango spinach where is my protein I feel like I need to organize my kitchen today. I think that's what I'll do later on tonight. If you guys aren't drinking this almond milk yet from Trader Joe's, I talked about it in my last vlog. You need to go get this. It is absolutely amazing. I actually want to go to Trader Joe's today just to pick up some stuff to have for dinner and stuff tonight. Blend this up. Ooh, I should put my superfoods in here actually because I haven't had them today. Ah! Dropping stuff. Sorry for this angle. It's just really difficult to try to put a tripod in my kitchen. And it's very small. So you're gonna have to work with me for this one minute clip. Perfect. I love a green smoothie. My routine does not consist of me waking up in the morning, doing makeup, and full glam. Most of the time, I am makeup free. Like, that's just how I've been. I'm in the vlogs, no makeup. I go to the gym, no makeup. Like, running errands, no makeup. So, I feel like, in a sense, I've kind of lost myself. I used to enjoy waking up, doing full glam, putting on a cute outfit that's not workout clothes. But really i'm out here looking like a beat up big toe all the time so i'm just like girl what happened i feel like i kind of fell off the bandwagon and instead of prioritizing my self-care when it comes to that like i put my energy into other things like just the editing and uploading all the time on repeat like last month i told you guys i uploaded like 25 videos like that's crazy so i think that's where a lot of my energy went to the point where i just didn't care about getting cute and that's honestly where a lot of my confidence comes from like don't get me wrong i'm confident walking around these la streets without makeup whatever but when i do my makeup there's just a certain level like you guys know when your hair is popping when your nails are popping like you just feel good and that's what i was missing from my routine so i really want to get back into the swing of actually getting cute for the day putting on a cute outfit and doing stuff because when i start my day that way i just feel in a sense a little bit more productive i know that kind of sounds weird but you're already dressed and ready like you can just go and do anything if your homie hits you up you're already ready to go like let's go do something you know versus 
looking like a bum like me all the time um, and then wanting to say no to opportunities because you hashtag are too lazy to get ready for the day so I'm just trying to find a happy balance I've realized that self-care really is a full-time job on top of everything else that you have going on in your life and you know in order to be your best self you kind of have to be a little bit selfish I don't feel like it is selfish but that's the best way I can describe it but you have to prioritize yourself first in order to perform your best in whatever it is that you're doing in life, you know? So for me, like self-care, it's not just about, oh, what you do on the outside. Like this morning, I was journaling. I took that time, that hour, my Zen hour, to really get my mind and my soul right. So meditating in the mornings, journaling, praying, making sure that I'm eating healthy foods, I have my green smoothie right here. So it takes time to fuel your body with healthy things. Getting your butt to the gym like I did today, like that all comes together. It's a lot of work on top of managing your home, paying your bills, doing your work, whatever you do to make your money, taking care of a pet. That's like, that's a whole nother level, okay? And if you have kids, God bless you because not right now, I can't really imagine that. But someday, you know, someday. It's just, it's crazy when you think about having 24 hours in a day like we all have the same amount of time in a day it's just about how you kind of prioritize everything you know what i mean so i think i'm just getting off on a tangent i'm just doing a simple bronze glowy face i think today i, I don't know i don't even feel like putting on lashes i just want to get myself together so i could run my errands and just feel a little bit more cute about myself and i do want to film some content for this week it's a Sunday right now and Sundays for me are my favorite day of the week it's like the day before everything unfolds you know like Sunday to me is like my Monday it's when I'm super productive I'm planning everything I'm shooting a lot I'm getting my home life organized I'm cleaned up and I'm going to the grocery store stocking up the fridge so for me Sundays are my favorite days out of the week comment down below what is your favorite day of the week I definitely want to know so what was I saying I literally just Wow, I just lost my train of thought. Where was I going with that? I think I'm just gonna throw on some Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. Oh my God, guys. I haven't been getting a lot of PR packages recently. I used to get them all the time, but I moved, right? So of course I emailed everyone and I was like, oh, I just moved, here's my updated address. A lot of the companies got the memo, that's cool. There's like a bunch of brands like Urban Decay, Bath and Body Works, whatever, I still get at my old apartment. Luckily, I know the security there, so they hold on to my packages for me and I pick them up. But the lady that was living in my old apartment was stealing my mail. She was opening up my packages, she moved out recently. So that's the only reason why I've been getting my mail again. Uh, she was opening up my mail and she was hoarding it hoarding it in her apartment. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Like opening up people's mail and stealing mail that's not yours. Like I wish I knew who this woman was. Like that's not okay. And I get it. Like if I got a package in the mail that was addressed to someone else and it said Too Faced Cosmetics or Urban Decay. Like these big old brands that everyone recognized as hashtag kind of expensive. Like I wouldn't steal the mail. I just people's intentions I just left it up to karma like girl like what are you doing anyways I recently picked up the Urban Decay honey palette that they had sent out so I actually should have used this today but I'm just way too lazy to put on full like shadow and lashes and all that stuff but this is the palette super cute packaging Thank God, like, that lady moved. Like, she was still in my mail for a good five months. Like, I don't even know what else I got delivered. <sighs> Probably some bomb-ass, like, Bath & Body Works, like, fall packet. Like, these are the colors. Love these colors on the end and these colors here on this end. There's just a lot of, um, like, yellowy, almost, like, green undertones. This is the original Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is such an OG. Oh my gosh, I have not had this. If you can see it, I've not had this for a while. So I'm super excited to have that back in my collection to use. This. Sorry, this bottle is defective, so the spray doesn't come out all the way. So I have to put a lot of product.
made a quick late lunch today. I've got an avocado, some sausage with peppers and onions, some brown rice down there, and one egg. I know it's like a random combination, but something about this just, I don't know, is calling my name. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So I've got this Los Angeles, California oversized drop shoulder t-shirt and biker shorts. And then I threw on the Louis Vuittons today. If you guys want a review, I have a whole unboxing video on it. If you guys want to check it out, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. Off to Trader Hose. That's a cute thumbnail. <laughs> Guys, I can no longer film inside of Trader Joe's. It's so sad. But we just got some quick groceries and your girl just bought a plant. Yes, I also need a car wash, so there's that. Look at it. Guys, grocery shopping today was a struggle for me. I didn't have an appetite, and I really haven't had much of an appetite. I know it's because of stress. When I get stressed, I lose my appetite. So, I really didn't know what I wanted to get from the market. I only got stuff to do a few meals, like my protein shakes, which I never get sick of. I've been eating a lot of chicken, and I just, the thought of chicken just can't get with that right now so I didn't get any protein I know I have like shrimp and stuff so I think I'm just gonna do some seafood I have lobster at home too that I can make that actually sounds pretty good but I'm gonna munch on these just mango slices on the way home and then I also ran to Starbucks earlier and got Kayla's signature drink the dragon drink but I just need to figure out my eating because nothing really sounds good to me they're all stuck together. <gasps> did I get my parking melody? I did, okay. All right. Literally. <laughs> They're all stuck together. I love these because it's literally just mangoes. So yeah, I can't vlog in Trader Joe's anymore. They put a sign out that said no filming. No vlogging. No recording. So that sucks. I always like taking you guys with me. Alright, let me hang up the vlog. Um, and I will see you dolls when I get home. When I get home. Please do that. Oh, sorry. Bye. Thank you. Gracias. She was sweet. She's gonna get my ticket for me. My car is so big that that driveway is so narrow. I have to always get out. Let's get this bread. Literally, I need to go home and edit. I have so much footage to organize. I don't even know what I have on this memory card, honestly. First, we got the mangoes. Yes. Uh, I'm sleepy, guys. I feel like I'm moving in slow motion. I'm gonna set you guys on top of my paper towels. I want to light an incense first. Give me a second. I have these sage incense that I love. I get mine from Amazon. I'll link them down below. I probably burn at least three of these a day because I like to have them going after I cook something. I use them for meditation. And it's just very cleansing to your space if you don't want to light a whole thing of sage. All right, that's better. And this lighting isn't good. If I turn this on, 
it makes these ripples on this camera. You guys were complaining in the last vlog that you don't like when my head is cut off, but my kitchen, like, there's nowhere for me to put you guys, if that makes sense. So, half of my head will be cut off, but I just got some restaurant-style tortilla chips. Extra hot habanero ghost pepper salsa, guys. I might actually die. I don't think I've tried this one before, but it looks amazing. I finally got my hands on these cotton candy grapes that everyone seems to be raving about. They have them right out in the front. I've never tried these before, so I don't know. Like, what is all the hype about? I guess we'll find out. Oh my god! Wow. Is this natural? <coughs> Non-GMO grown. Yo, I was not expecting that. I know everyone was hyping these things up. But they legit, they taste like freaking cotton candy. They even smell like it. Whoa, I was not ready for that. These are very sweet, by the way. These are really sweet. Oh my god. I get it now, guys. I get it now. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to leave that on. And then I just got some wine for tonight. This is my favorite wine from Trader Ho's. Low Cabernet. The Velvet Moon. I think it's like $6. So, like, how could you hate that? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm in a snacky type of mood, not like a dinner type of mood. So I think I might just snack on those grapes. Pour myself a glass of wine right now. Honestly, sounds amazing. Maybe have some chips and salsa. I don't know. Just want something. All right, let's try this salsa and hope that I don't die. It looks amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that's hot. Mm, 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 mm. Should I put it here? Got my green candle burning right now. You have to let it just burn all the way out. This is to bring in more money, opportunities, good luck, good fortune. Manifest a life of abundance. I've talked about candles and the correspondence of different colors and what they do And how to use them in a previous vlog um, This candle I just got from Target. It's actually my favorite scent that they have available all year round It's very fall fragrance as you can tell I love it And it's not a bad price for candles when you compare them to places like Bath and Body Works just for example because that's super popular What do we think about this plant though? here but she's so cute and it was only $7.99 and it came with a pot so we love Trader Joe's always coming through